So as a lot of you know, we accidentally bought a Project Narrowboat. Yeah, accidentally, I'm telling you. So a huge part of this was completely fitting a new kitchen made out of our very own scaffolding board. So we haven't had running water on the boat for a year and a half. That's the two weeks after buying the boat. But Becca has finally reinstalled it. We should hear a noise from the pump. It's a bit concerning. Oh, that's got him. So before we continue with getting water on the boat, and we are gonna get it. Hi guys, and welcome back to the vlog. I know you're absolutely sick of my bloody hatches. How sick do you think I am of them, eh? I'm the one that's got to bloody sort them out. Am I sorting them out? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. We are getting there guys. So when we purchased the boat the hatches would not shut So I put some lovely new ones on there twice by the way, but I'm not gonna go into details on that Check out the past vlogs if you want to see the chaos that surrounded that So now I've just been working on sort of making the frames look all nice and mainly sorting out the bottom of the window sills here Look, yeah, we've got three hatches. So we've got three window sills I've already done two sort of and now I'm just coming on to the last one one. There we go, all done. Now I'm going to get them varnished up and trust me guys, I'm going to make these look absolutely amazing. So, here over in Becca's laboratory, I have a new tool and it is a multimeter, which I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with actually. I've never used one, but I've done a bit of research, figured out um, the dial and everything and what I'm looking for and I'm just having a practice on a battery We know this battery should be about 9 volts. So look at that 8.7 volts Anyone looking for actual electrical knowledge do not listen to this because yeah. I understand what I'm doing Who needs to get their BSS anyway, eh? After all that, we'll just do it ourselves A personal assessment And now I'm gonna test to see what's coming through them, if anything Okay, yeah, she's all set up with a little sticks okay well, I think we found our problem okay so once we've done that we're gonna give that a little wipe down with a white spirit get rid of all the wood shavings on there wood shavings dust you know all the little debris bits and that gets it all prepared and ready for varnishing so let's get all kitted up We're going to be working in the boat's conservatory. So for some stupid reason, I forgot to sand a tiny little bit on this little fella. So sort him out quickly. And now he is also ready for the White Spirit Protocol. And yes, you need to do this in Merigolds. When the job is done, disarm said Merigold protection unit very carefully. Okay, on to the varnishing guys. Okay, let's do it. So I've established that there's no power getting through to the pump with the use of my new little nifty multimeter. So the next logical thing to check, I think is probably the fuses, because actually a couple of weeks ago, the marina was shorted out by someone doing something on their boat. Something could have happened in that time. The infamous electrical cupboard. More spaghetti than spaghetti junction, I'd say. So this is our crazy fuse box. So all the fuses in this bottom end cupboard were fine. I am cracking on with my varnishing. Twig up. Somehow it doesn't feel right. Don't want to waste the bloody stuff. That's what we're getting. Probably help reading the old tin first, wouldn't it? I had a quick read, but you know what I'm like. I just didn't want to waste the stuff on the twig. Seems to be the right way. It says against the grain, so crow bodge my ass, eh? You give it four coats of this. Expert advice. You sand it back, I think, on the third coat and then give it one final sort of nice coat. So these early ones don't matter, do they? Bit when in mouth, touch of a uh, wood satin. 
It's a 10 year old one. It's trade, a hint of bronze seal. Aged varnish. It's quite a whiskey, isn't it? I think it means uh, something a little bit different when it says 10 year. I think it means 10 year protection. What do you reckon? Less of the nonsense. Anyway, next. It's a nice one. So I've just been in the back testing all the fuses back there because I thought that perhaps this switch that controls the water pump it might be tapped into a circuit down there. If you step with me into the pantry, lo and behold, there's another fuse box there and this one actually does re relate to the water pump. So fingers crossed this is the source of the problem. Here we go. Okay, so I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like I might have just result found the problem, basically. Well, that's blown because the yeah, plastic's yeah. actually oh, well done. exploded. But then there should be a wire that goes between that and that. And can you see it's all frazzled? I've been testing all the fuses in this little cupboard, as I just said. Here I come along to the one which I believe is for the pump switch on the wall here and I'll show you what I found. Look at that! Frazzled! Frazzle rock! I'm just, yeah, so I think with any luck we can change this fuse and then we'll have water. It's about bloody time, Bex! He's so <laughs> horrible to me. I am. He's awful. Cruel but kind in so many ways. Oh, I don't know, I can't find much of the kindness. Yeah, have we got any fuses or we got to pick some up? We've got to pick some up. Let's go. B&M could not provide us with the fuses. Screw fix. How hard is it to get some fuses? Next up, little, the home of bread. Will it be the home of fuses? Will it be the home of fuses? Still absolutely no fuses going down, is there? It's not. I think the last place we can try is the car garage. In she goes, the pride of eating soaking. She got it in her hand. Need to get these fuses. Oh no. Next stop, Tesco Extra. We're hitting the big boys. Our second home, B&Q. Last chance to dance here. Way! Yes! We got them! B&Q coming through for us once again. So here we go, check these out. I am proper chuffed with these. I think they've come out great. That's the first hatch. This is the second hatch. And finally my third hatch with the weird little clumpy things cut out. But I mean, if they were all like this, they'd, they'd look great, wouldn't they? But it's a bit standalone. We will come back to this at some point. the first time we've had running water on this boat for like a year or something like that so so I'll just pop this little beauty in here so first things first I'm going to switch the water on here we go Hang on, I think I've got an idea. Okay, so the fuse wasn't the entire problem. However, when I was looking in the fuse box there, I also noticed something else, and it was one of the wires, which is a power in like wire into the fuse box, was disconnected. Now, I'm a little bit unconfident about fiddling around with the electrics and stuff, so I think it's time to call in a professional. <laughs> Ooh, am I speaking to a professional? 